So thank you for TD from One to One Therapy Services for joining the Simcoe County Information Fair. Please describe your organization's vision and tell us how this fits in with CTN's focus on the F words of childhood development. So One to One Therapy Services is a leading therapy center for children, adults, and their families. Um, our team of practitioners provides SLP, OT, PT, BT, um, like speech language pathology, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, behavior services, ABA, applied behavior analysis, ESDM, so the early start Denver model, um, and psychology services. So we do, we have a psychologist with us on board um, that does diagnosis and assessments. And, you know, we, we kind of, right from the ground up, we make sure that our clients have that path and that directed path to what avenues to take or what steps to take next. Um, you know, our vision is quality of life through quality of care, um, and we do our best to make sure that we are providing ethical practice or ethical services that follows that vision. Um, I mean, for the five Fs, the functions, uh, so our physicians are interactive, they're very hands-on, um, our therapy is very play-based, so you would never think that, you know, the kids are coming in for therapy, it's like they're, they're coming to have a good time and hang out and, you know, um, we support the safety and the services, and it's all um, evidence-based and science-based practice. Um, you know, our clients can range, I mean, the youngest client we have is um, 18 months old, um, and it goes right into the, the adults for all services. Um, and our 18-month-old clients are clients, obviously, that are doing ESDM and the Early Start Denver Motor Model Program. And then, obviously, we go into adults and, um, you know, long-term care, uh, people in long-term care facilities and things like that. Um, our services, uh, we provide services in our clinic, of course, but we are also heavily community-based as well. You know, so homes, uh, daycares, facilities, long-term care facilities, schools. Um, so we kind of, whatever the, the need is for the child or for the client at the time, so we do provide services around those needs. Um, sorry, for family, um, we encourage families to be involved in all aspects of therapy, um, parent coaching, observation, consultation. You know, we, we, we let them just come in and be part of the session because, of course, we only see um, the kids, you know, this many times uh, a week. The parents are with them at all times. So it would be great if they can take whatever skills we're able to give them or whatever they see and implement that in their home or day-to-day -day settings as well. Um, fitness, so at one-to-one, -one, we have a full gym uh, for our kids, and, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of them, um, it's free play. Uh, they can do free play, they can do team group play, we can do individual play, you know, there's, a, there's mats, there's a bouncy, uh, like a, a bouncy castle sort of thing, uh, you know, a lot of sensory stuff, so sandbox, toys, books. So we have a full, for them just to be kids, you know, just to have that little bit of a break and, live, you know, stretch their legs, you know, get some, you know, get some juices flowing. <laughs> um, uh, fun, like I said, we're very play-based, um, you know, we interact with their, the family, the kids, um, and then we, we, we provide them with a wide variety of um, activities to keep them engaged. Obviously, no one wants to do the same thing over and over and over again. So we kind of, we following the same, um, as long as we're following the program that has to be completed, we kind of find creative ways. Our therapists are really good at finding creative ways to have them complete those programs and reach the goals and attain those, the, those goals that they need to, to accomplish. The future, so we, <laughs> a one-to-one, -one, our main goal is to improve, obviously, quality of life through quality of care with individualized uh, programming. I mean, because of COVID right now, our clinic is closed, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get creative um, at this time to ensure that our, our, our clients are supported still. You know, we, we have launched telepractice services, telehealth services at one-to-one, -one. Um, so our clinicians are still, I mean, the telehealth model is having our senior, uh, senior team. So our, uh, clinical supervisors and supervising therapists actually work with parents and children. So consultative model or one-to-one -one model, um, to provide the services that they need at the home, um, through zoom or, um, through mostly zoom. If we're working through zoom. Yeah. <laughs> we're working through zoom. <laughs> so, so we are, we, so kind of summing up what we're, we're, what we're about and what we're doing right now during the COVID-19 situation. Yes, yeah, thank you very much for the helpful information and um, outlining the uh, 
the F words that, um, yeah, that um, go along with your agency. Um, and then you also spoke about uh, the kind of services that you're able to offer now during the time of physical distancing. Um, so well, that sounds like a lot of online um, yeah. activity, um, but the clinic is closed. Is there anything else you wanted to say about that? Yeah, so we, do, again, this, this, this falls under all range of services. So again, speech, occupational, physio, psychology, behavior, you know, it's, we are offering telepractice for all these services. I mean, the models may be a little bit different, but again, it's still very interactive. We use uh, that we share the screen. Um, you know, they have the opportunity, we put our games on the screen and they have the opportunity to be interactive by touching the screen and moving things around the way they need to. Um, you know, it's, if, as I know for the, the kids that are doing ABA, it's a little bit more tricky for them to do mm -hmm. that because of um, the skills that they have not, they don't have as yet. So a parent is usually there uh, to help support um, if, the, if the client is very high needs. But if the client is not very high needs, I find that we're finding that they're able to, you know, with just some redirection, they're able to sit there and, you know, be interactive on Zoom and, you know, um, we're able to provide that, that therapy. So it's, it's been great. And, you know, I've, I've, we've seen a lot of success with it. <laughs> That's great. And is that, um, just a follow-up question, is that with clients who are already a part of the services or are you able to look at um, new referrals? Yeah, so we are looking at, so definitely clients that are part of the services and we have brought on new referrals. Okay, great. For all, mod, for all services. Okay. Um, for all time. services we are bringing on. So our our process for new uh, new uh, new admits are exactly the same. It's, it's basically we are having them come in, do a consultation if needed, if they're a behavior program or come in and just request speech services or occupational services. And our process is exactly the same, except instead of us, them coming to the clinic or us going to them, it's through Zoom. Zoom. Okay. So yes, we are definitely accepting new referrals. So bring them on. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks for Didi. <laughs> Um, all right, and so then uh, we also have another question. Uh, please share plans to support children and youth and their families that you may that you might have moving forward. So I mean, right now our plan we are continuing through Zoom, de depending on how the the situation um, pans out out there yeah. with the government lifting these bans um, and you know allowing us to open up our, our clinic, and you know and we understand the phases that it will be opening up in. With one-to-one, -one, we're pretty much following the same rules as the governments. And if they're opening up in phases, we're going to be opening up our clinic in phases as well um, to ensure social distancing. Of course, you know, there are, there were, there are, have always been policies that have, we, we have put in place for the safety and security of our clinicians and our clients, but we're just taking it over to the next step. I mean, washing hands is something that we've always done, hand sanitized before and after. It's something that um, has always been done, but obviously this will be now more closely monitored, mm -hmm. um, you know. Um, there will be uh, regular cleaning and disinfecting after every session. There's going to be someone in there um, cleaning and disinfecting, um, social distancing. So that is something that I know with, with a clinic setting, um, it is something that is quite difficult. Um, but what we've done is we, were for, we are fortunate to enough to have the space. So even if we slowly start bringing in clients and providing them with more space, so it was more so be a gradual transition more than every, rather than everyone coming in at once. Okay. Um, so, you know, it'll be probably maybe a handful and everyone will have their individual space or individual room. Um, even if it's a huge classroom, there'll be more, no more than maybe two or three people depending on the size. So we are ensuring that six feet uh, between um, each client, um, and then obviously self-monitoring, self-care, um, and then we'll, we'll also be screening at every visit. So we screen therapists, and we've been doing that since before, even before this broke out, since the stepper. Okay. We have been screening our therapist at, on a regular basis, and we've been screening our clients, um, and that will obviously continue um, as, as we come back on to make sure that, you know, they're healthy and they're provide they're following the appropriate guidelines. If there's even a small fraction of, you know, symptoms out there, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and then hopefully, you know, we, we get to that spot where we can transition everyone back in and work as we did before. But until that time, we will be strictly following the guidelines laid out to us by the ministry. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for Didi for joining us uh, at the Simple Information Fair. No, no problem at all. It was a pleasure. <laughs>